YSK heatstroke can occur quickly. The body can reach 106 F within 15 minutes. YYSK Lots of folks are suffering from heat exhaustion and stroke lately. If you must be outside for prolonged periods drink and have plenty of water. Seek shade when possible. If you do a lot of outside activities consider starting earlier in the day or towards the evening. The hottest time of the day is around 3 p.m. Plan accordingly. If you can get the cooling towel, it can help reduce the risk but drinking a lot of water and resting in shade or AC at breaks or when you notice effects or ethers do. Keep an eye out for each other. Keep in mind that you should also probably drink electrolytes alternating them with water. That's exactly what happened to me yesterday. I haven't been outside much for a long time and still had my memories of my childhood when I somehow managed to endure it all better. Probably the most dangerous thing is that you don't notice it at the moment. The symptoms only appear later. I was shaking for a few hours. Throwing up in the night and today I just couldn't eat. Be careful out there. Use sunscreen and watch out for children. They suffer very quickly from sunstroke. One thing that I would like to mention is being hydrated before your time in the heat begins. Hydrating at the time you are in the heat is important but if you start out under hydrated or a little dehydrated, you will never catch up. If you are already dehydrated before starting, you are in trouble before you ever get out there. If you know you are going to be in the heat, try to get a start on hydration the day s before. Also, make sure to keep up on your electrolytes. I was told by a tour guide in the US Virgin Islands a few years back that anger irritability is one of the first signs of heat exhaustion that people tend to brush off. Not sure how true it is, but I believe it. Thanks for the reminder staying hydrated and being mindful of the heat is crucial. Especially during these hot summer days. Stay safe everyone. For rest of the world, that's 41.1 degrees Celsius. Water is great but you also have to replenish electrolytes and eat. What worked best for me when I worked outside in Florida was a bottle of Gatorade Squincher or Powerade work great too for every four bottles of water. I had heat stroke for the first time in my life last year. Adderall thermal jacket constantly being outside not a good time. Literally thought I was dying. Had no idea what was happening to me. For like two three straight weeks it was hell. I don't know if it was heat stroke but once I was at a pool in Vegas in 120 degree heat. Even in the shaded area it was pretty warm and I got to a point where my body just wasn't sweating. And my heart felt like it was pounding. I have awful heat tolerance and experienced heat exhaustion a few weeks ago at a casual outdoor event. We had shade. We weren't doing much that was strenuous. I took breaks. We met at 10 a.m. About 11.30 I felt like junk. By noon when helping clean up I knew I fucked up and did too much. Got clammy. Flush. Felt sick. Got home and had a low-grade fever. Tired. Like I had a cold. Took a couple days to really feel better. Other than forgetting water. We did everything right but it still happened. And even without water it was only an hour and a half it can come up quick. Happened to me yesterday. Southern CA. Happened fast. After out in heat for under an hour. Got nauseous. Body aches. Headache. And fatigue like crazy. Drank water. Ate some bread. Collapsed in bed and started getting chills so weird. Then fell asleep for four hours in the middle of the day. Was still nauseous and felt like I was burning up when I woke up. 
slightly better today. I live in AZ. I avoid going outside as much as possible because I don't want to get heat stroke. Also the hottest part of the day isn't 3 for us, it's 5 and the coolest is 6 a.m. and by cool I mean it's in the 90s. Under the right circumstances the human body can get much hotter than that in 15 minutes. Try liquid IV. Better than the Gator or Powerade. I was outside all day last weekend in 95 degree weather and felt freezing and shivering. I didn't find anything online indicating that was a heat stroke. But maybe it was. Pretty sure the body can get to 106 way faster than 15 minutes if you really put your mind to it. If the temperature is 89 and the humidity is near 90. The human body can sweat but the sweat does not evaporate and your core temperature goes up fast. A dry heat. We can take because our sweat evaporates to cool us, but all bets are off when the humidity is high. America is going to lose a lot of people in August. Don't be one of the them. If we do not stop burning oil, it will get far worse. The hottest time of the day is around 3 p.m. Maybe where you live. Knowing this just when there are forest fire near Vancouver scare me. It was 103 degrees in Tulsa. Okay today. Not to mention the power outages we can have this time of year. Just last month. My neighborhood was without electricity for five days. Including grocery stores. Gas stations. Hospitals. Etc. Been there. Done that. Thanks. U.S. Army. Basic training. Guess some things can't be walked off. Thanks for the reminder staying hydrated and finding shade during outdoor activities can really make a difference in preventing heat stroke. Somebody explain like I'm five this compared to sauna use for 20 minutes. I got hospitalized and almost died from heat stroke a while back. And I was drinking plenty of water. Two. That's not always good enough depending on what you're doing and where you are. So. You know. Be cautious. This is why I don't go hiking. I work construction indoors no AC with feels like temps as high as 115. FML. Just do what I do. Only drink energy drinks. Coffee and alcohol. If there's no water in your body period you can't get dehydrated. It's science. Faster when you're set aflame. The body can reach 106 F in 15 minutes. What a stupid piece of information. Both completely obvious and completely useless. Are we on the surface of the sun? Just going for a jog. How hot is it outside? How sunny is it? What are we doing? How humid is it? How windy is it? YSK you can get heat stroke quickly if it's hot. LOL. Can reach 10,000 F a lot quicker. If you're near a detonated nuclear device. Or you could like just not be a bitch about it. Thanks for the reminder it's easy to underestimate the intensity of the sun during these hot summer days. Thanks for the reminder staying hydrated and planning outdoor activities wisely can make a huge difference in preventing heat stroke. Please also know that this does not only apply to outdoor jobs. I'm in an HSE position within the company I work for, and I just finished filling out an incident report for an employee experiencing heat stress while working indoors. Hydrate before, during, and after your shift. Stay hydrated and avoid excessive consumption of alcohol in your off hours.